Hi there, I am Mike Gold, Neil Up Dice, this is the Kerbal Space Program. I think, other than... Uh, no, there's another one. There, there's another, other than the, the asteroid recapture missions, uh, well, not mission scenarios. I think this is the last one, although, actually, I suddenly realised there is, might, there might be a new, this Mun Orbit one, I think, is new. Anyway, um, Dino Wing re-entry, let's do this one. So it's not quite the last, 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 but it's quite last. Uh, Dino Wing being a space plane, so it's presumably a shuttle-esque thing. Uh, nice and dark, because that's exactly what you want out of a, out of a thing like this. Uh, yeah, it's a plane, it's in space. Um, let's have a quick look at the map view. So our apoapsis is 71 just above the atmosphere, and our pair, the apasis, is 26 kilometers. So definitely going into the atmosphere today. So we're about to hit atmosphere, in fact. Uh, I didn't want to hit the B. I'm hitting all sorts of stupid keys. I'm going into chase. Mm -hmm wanting to go into chase mode, but I don't think I do want to go into chase mode. I think maybe I want locked. Now there's an all sorts of things I'm not quite sure what I want to do when it comes to flying in a dyno wing. I mean, ideally, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wondering if this course is designed to Theoretically, anyway, land me um, at KSC, right? And I, I don't know if the you know the angle that I'm at um, Ooh, I can look inside the interior. Um, I don't know if the angle I'm at is like a, a sensible angle to be at for this kind of thing or anything. So I'm probably going to crash and burn or I might just burn and then crash. It is it is kind of going to depend on a great many things. Um, you know, do I want to... I've got a fair amount of monoprop. Okay. Um, do I want to use um, fuel? Do I want to do I want to do I want to jet anywhere? Um, I could try maybe slowing down. Um, there are many options. I may want to actually go uh, more vertical, so that there's more area, so I slow down more. But that my heat might heat me up. Uh, height might heat me up too much. There's all sorts of questions that I, I do not really have the answers to. Um, there are no parachutes on this, so clearly I would have to land um, on a runway of some description if I'm going to land in any way, shape or form. Right, let's try chase now. See, it's putting it's putting me on chase, but I'm on I'm sideways. I don't want to be sideways. And I don't know if there's a way of, of changing that. If I go to locked, that works pretty well. So we're over this desert, or we're just coming over this desert. I think where I want to land is there. I think that's where the KSC is. Um I have a fair amount of fuel left, but I don't know how. I mean, I honestly don't know how much. So, what, have I, what kind of engines have I got anyway? I've got some big liquid fuel engines. It is, those, are just, those are just straight. What have I got? Hang on, what have I got? So I've got little tiny engines in there as well. I cannot see. Okay, what, what are these? Those are puff. Oh, those are monoprop engines. Okay. Well, I guess I can ignore them. Ah! Now I've got some fuel. 
So those are claiming that they don't have much in the way of fuel, which is a bit weird. Oh, and that, yeah, those are all monoprop. So I'm not quite sure why they're saying they don't have fuel, because they should have fuel, because they're, they're stuck on a fuel tank. So um, maybe I don't, in fact, have any ability to uh, not smash into the ground. It's like this back end thing here. I don't know what that is. Um, it, no, I've, got, I've got oxidizer as well. So I don't, I don't know why this is reporting as, as not having any fuel. It's possible this back end bit here is um, the bit that this. This is very weird. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how this. This I'm not sure how this 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 thing works. Um, uh, shut down, put it back on again. Okay, that doesn't make any difference. Lots of monoprop all over the place. Now we are beginning to heat up, it looks like. Let's, let's turn a little bit. We're still quite high up above the atmosphere. We're still quite high up in the atmosphere, as you can see. So we're not getting an awful lot of. Uh, we're not getting an awful lot of uh, fire effects at the minute. Uh, G forces seem all right. We may or may not be heading where I want to head, which is, I think, in that bay. So I might be heading slightly more up one way or the other. But the cockpit is heating up, it looks like. Uh, so put on, so you can see that the, the temperature and uh, overlay, it is heating up. But I'm not getting uh, any of those indicators which tell me that something bad is happening. So we're coming over this bit of ocean. So we're going to have a bit of a, a time over the ocean. I don't know how long it's going to take, though. It's going to point a bit more towards the horizon. I have no reason, no no actual logic behind this. It just feels right. I'm just going to see if, uh, if Chase is still... No, Chase is not turning me around. That's that's okay. See if I can bring us back to going more or less due east. Which we seem to be able to do. I want to risk uh, I'm not sure I want to risk anything speeding up time warping here we go now so we're getting now beginning to get some heat uh, some actual uh, flying um, thermal shock everything's nice and bright which I'm sure is good for everybody. Now I guess I can change how much heat I'm taking by my my angle of attack. Because oh, the other the the mud is rising, the backup looking kind of neat. So you know, the more I'm doing that, the more I'm resisting the air, and thus the more heat. And so if I go more like that, I will I will um, generate less heat. But at the same time, I'm not slowing down very fast. I would like to slow down more. 
So I'm actually going to bring the nose up. Which may be a terrible mistake, in fact. Let's bring the speed down some. So I'm reasonably unlikely to want to take this all the way down to a landing because um, I don't think I'm good enough, even remotely. much heating which one's aerodynamic forces oh okay that's temperature gauge enabled okay one of these keys was 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 aerodynamic forces but I guess we're not getting that one today that one. It's radial in. Okay. So I'm pointing about halfway, so about 45 degrees. So I'm halfway between my prograde and my radial in. Uh, gradually slowing down. But this is actually a thing where, uh, you know, I'm just going in blind. I'm, I'm just picking things that seem to make sense to me. Where actually probably what I would need to have is someone who's worked this stuff out for me beforehand saying, OK, when you get to about 40 clicks, this is what you want to do. You want to be going this fast. And if you're not going the right speed, if you're going too fast, that's a problem. If you're going too slow, that's a problem. Well, there's a ton of people on, this, on board this thing for me to kill. That's good. Now, the indicators aren't coming up, so I'm assuming we're not so on fire that it's a problem. Speed is coming down, slowly. Uh, we're getting some g-forces, but not too many. But I honestly don't know how much too many is, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and in fact, maybe what I should really be doing is, is putting on more g-forces. So that I slow down quicker. I'm not sure why there's no fuel flow to these engines. Not that I want to use them right this second. Of course, the actual space shuttle gl uh, glided, glud, it glided the whole way down. Glid? Glod. Glided. Um. The monk looking very much like the Death Star at the moment, actually. Well, everything's quite hot, but I kind of knew that anyway. Bring us back to about 45 degrees. Yes, that was the intention. Looks like I'm beginning to have to fight. I mean, I'm now getting deep enough into the atmosphere that um, the aerodynamic surfaces are beginning to bite. And so it's going to want to go um, more prograde. So we're going to want to you know, go with the flow as opposed to going against it. And again, like the thing I, I often say is I really, I really want to get back to having Kerbal Engineer installed. Because uh, that might give me some ideas about 
is anything too hot. You know. uh, we still have a bit of a ways to go. According to this, I'm going to land in the ocean. Uh, but actually, you'll notice that my, my exit point keeps moving with me. So I suspect I'll have a f actually a fair amount of time to, to adjust uh, where exactly I fall. And hopefully how fast, because I, I clearly, I don't want to be uh, interacting with the surface too quickly. I think I'm coming through thermal shock. I think I'm hearing that kind of slow down a bit. I am coming down to uh, Mac 2-ish. So now the question is whether I would be able yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're definitely we're definitely beginning to run to, to not be on fire. I'm going to go a bit more towards prograde. So just going to slow uh, slow my 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 deceleration a little bit. Because I'm now getting to the stage where I want to start thinking about how long it's going to take me to fall. So I actually start. I'm starting to want to, to. I'm starting to want speed rather than not want it. Uh, if I lose it too quickly, then I'm not going to make it. I'm not, not going to make it back home. But if I lose it too slowly, obviously, I'm going to overshoot. And this is something that, that actually you want to be an experienced pilot for and not just some guy playing video. Um, I'm also 21 kilometers up still. So. Everyone's still reasonably happy. Mythos is looking a bit concerned, it must be said. Well, I think we've got ourselves um, from not being on fire. Well, we, we, we're about to not be on fire. I think I might leave it there, in fact. Uh, we are heading more or less the right direction. Um, I'm not quite sure what, le well, yeah, where I should be aiming to put my. Yeah, should I be getting trying to get more lift? Um, I honestly don't know because there will there will come a point where. Um, I'll fall out of the sky, which would be very embarrassing. Um, and I still have a certain amount of distance to go to get where I want to go. But um, I kind of already did the the landing one with the Dino Wing, and I did basically manage to survive that. So I'm not actually I'm actually not that bothered. Uh, I'm going. I'm I'm reasonably tempted to say I'm going to count this as a success. Well done, me. And say thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you like and subscribe and enjoying these videos, come visit NinoughDice at NinoughDice.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter, and you can see, uh, if you're on you know, YouTube, you can get the links to that, um, to both of those in the video description. Uh, you can also just search for NinoughDice on Facebook and Twitter, and you'll find us there. And until next time, reach for the stars, and hopefully anyway, come home safe.